even know what you're talking about. Dracula is way scarier than any zombie. Oh, really? What about Frankenstein? He's terrifying. He's vulture freaking terrifying. They... Mm. <laughs> that was actually Frankenstein's monster, not Frankenstein. Oh, excuse me. You know, actually, no, Frankenstein is also a monster. Because he brought in Frankenstein's monster into a world where he knew that Frankenstein would be considered a freak. You know, who does that? Monsters. Psychopaths. <laughs> if you think Frankenstein is scary, I don't even want to know what you consider a scary story at this point. Oh, I have a good scary story. I'll tell you it. So, imagine this. It's a scene. Hello and welcome back to Media Productions Spooktacular <laughs> Special. Today we're going to be doing a costume competition. So these lovely people behind me are picking out their Halloween costumes that I will be judging. Maybe a bit small. Maybe a bit short. <laughs> uh. I don't really have a theme going on here. I don't either. But I think that's... Spooky. Yeah. Spooky. Ooh. Yeah. Let's say you're a media. Oh, look. That Where's lady's... Where's Curious George? Is this Curious George? Oh, that one's kind of cool. There's not really any shirt shirts in here, is there? Not really. There was only the weird crop top one that I had. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the other boxing gloves by chance? No. <laughs> I just, I okay. This will work. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm, I'm just good. about ready. I. I feel like this really needs something to hold it together. No. Oh. Oh. Um, I picked out this lovely assembly of items for Bridger. Um, this shirt because I just think it's really neat. Um, we have some accessories. And this lovely piece, um, it's giving like grandma in the 80s. That's my, those are my choices. Okay, um, I picked this fantastic outfit for Henry. Uh, we have a long gown of sorts and uh, I'm thinking we're gonna layer on top of that this nice purple shirt. Uh, just to, you know, give some texture. Uh, also, I have this cane, which I figured could occupy one hand. I was kind of like going for, you don't want to see this outside of your house. Um, and also, we have a boxing glove. I couldn't find the other one, which is sad, but, um, you know, <laughs> we move on. And also, this nice helmet. Um, I figure it'll make a really scary silhouette. Uh, well, I picked out Shane's outfit. Starting off strong, I I thought, what's scarier for Halloween than an actual skeleton? Skeleton. <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> what can I say? They don't call me Henry Master at English Spencer for nothing. Uh, we've got some pretty sick shades here, and a glittery red... Christmas hat that says hottie on it. <laughs> uh, both of those, because I thought 
Shane's a pretty cool person, and what's cooler than cool shades and that hat? We've got this wonderful floral gown uh, that's very Halloween themed. Uh, and another wonderful kind of transparent beady floral thing to put on top of that because flowers are scary. They're the scariest thing I know. So they have all picked out their costumes and are all dressed. So now we're going to judge them for how spooky they are. Do a spin. <laughs> Good question. I like to call this fit Scary biker grandma. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Okay, seven spooks out of ten for Henry. Good job, Henry. I am undecided. for those with weak stomachs. It involves guts, backstabbing, and betrayal. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. The story begins with a group of three around the table. Hello, and welcome to our pumpkin carving competition. The aim of today's game is to make the best carved pumpkin in 45 minutes. And whoever wins gets whatever is in Simon's wallet. Four dollars and my vaccination card. Poggers. You, you, you there in the witch's hat, will you please uh, introduce yourself? Yes. I, hello, so hello. I am talking. <laughs> Hello viewers, I am Honky Tonk the Witch, and I am going to carve the best pumpkin. I am the best witch here. Let's get started. Ow. What's up, I am Pumpkin Slayer 296. Today I'm carving the best pumpkin. Hello, I'm Simon, and I'm only here because I'm the only one with cash in my wallet, and they needed me, so. Yeah, yeah I'm planning on... Per we purposely <laughs> winning so I don't have to give away any money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make a circle. And it's gonna be boring. <laughs> You're making your way to I have a knife and I am not afraid to use it. I also have a knife. Oh! Why are you so clean? <laughs> Anybody have some some fun jokes? Halloween jokes? What's the skeleton's favorite snack? Pumpkin guts, spare ribs. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I don't get it. What does that mean? Spare ribs? <laughs> Chicago, one of those. They're one the same the thing. Pave can't control us. Yeah. When's the last time you carved a pumpkin? Two years know. ago? That's not a good answer. I don't know, probably like four years. Yeah, same. Can I get a different pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> can I use this? If we take a look over here, we can see that this dude really messed up. I did. That's one. Yeah. That back up? Simon is definitely not winning back his money. No! Or the vaccination card! <laughs> no! Get into you the doctor's office! Unvaccinated. <laughs> this is awful. You ain't even been yourself! I'm gonna put this in your hair. Look, I made you some content. We gotta stop there. We don't want to be copyrighted. It's beginning to look quite like Halloween. Halloween. It is October like 14th. Simon, would you like to explain what you just did? I finally got my lid off out of the stupid pumpkin. Wow, you're way behind. You're going to run out of time. So how's the pumpkin carving process going? Well, I got my tools stolen, so I'm using my hands. But I'm not going to let that deter me. I'm still going to win, and it's going to be cool. Sierra, how's your pumpkin carving? Sorry, pumpkin slayer. Two, nine, eight, <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's going no, well, I think. Not the numbers. Are you kidding me? Well, clearly the other uh, um, clearly the other contestants are too intimidating by me, so they are putting pumpkin guts into my pumpkin, which I scrape out and put back into the pumpkin bowl. Now, it looks like I am going... <laughs> I'm going the quickest, as you can see here. Almost all of my guts are gone and into the gut bowl. I think that I am going to win this competition because I will have the best design. I will have the best design, which I have not decided on yet. But clearly, yeah, they're so intimidated by me. Hello, it, even though I was behind, I think I'm making good progress. And they get too much ahead of me. I might just, just put some of the guts in their apple cider. I'm marking out my design here, as you can probably tell. He is a good, correct person. Always marks out their design. So my plan is I'm going to make... A face. Any askers? Wow, a face? Wow. That's Sorry. never been done before. <laughs> never. So you see, the key to pumpkin carving is having a variety of tools. And I would have another variety, but you know, someone else is using them. But whatever, I'm not salty about it. What the heck? Who's editing this? Because I feel bad. One time I wrote a scary pumpkin story in fifth grade about how a pumpkin took back the knife with its pumpkin arms and started carving the person. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was it won the, the literature fair. Fifth you grade, wrote it? Fifth grade. I was a youngin and I still beat all the other fifth graders. Goofy people. I have made my first mistake, it does appear. Never mind, I can adapt and overcome. So I am making my secret design. Sorry. However, oh, <laughs> I forgot I did that. I, you know, I can't really tell you the specifics as it is a secret design, um, which is one of my specialties because I am Pumpkin Slayer 294, um, 5, 297. <laughs> Um, this was going to be a window of sorts, but I seem to have cut out the entire piece. And now there are no window panes. 
to be in the center of the pumpkin. So now it's just going to look like a giant hole. So I will over adapt and I will I will adapt and overcome. You know, my mama once told me when I was a little kid that if you fail, you should adapt and overcome. But I've since changed that phrase to become one more of my own that, you know, really resonates with me as a person, as a pumpkin slayer, one might say. Um, and now I just say, you know, if you fail, give up. Can we do, a, can we do an interview with you talking about what you're going to do for your design, how you're feeling being behind? <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> um, I'm kind of winging it. I think I want to put something inside the mouth of my pumpkin. So I have just obtained this tool from Sophie. We traded tools because she she is an amateur. Um, and I'm a professional. I am a pumpkin slayer. As such, I decided it would be more appropriate if she had the pumpkin tarring tool. Since I have obtained this tool from Sophie, it is slimy, slippery, and wet, which is her <laughs> first mistake. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Sophie, can you explain what you're doing here with the smaller pumpkin? I I think I made a mistake because I would like to put the pumpkin eating my pumpkin. Yeah, but see the problem is and come here, come here. The problem is is that when I put the small pumpkin in the mouth, it goes inside. And that is not very podge. <laughs> Not very pod champ indeed. Some might even say an amateur move. Some. <laughs> I'm done. Sierra and Sophie, how are you feeling about one competitor already finishing their You know, I'm not gonna lie, I do be a little bit worried, only because oh, um, have more amateurs time. normally take uh, a shorter amount of time to carve simple designs. So I am a little bit worried about Simon um, and doing all well in this competition. Just because this design is a little bit simplistic and I just have um, a very big doubt you help me that hey, you, you will not win. win. So what Simon, is how are you feeling being the first competitor to finish their pumpkin? Feeling pretty confident, you know. I've heard a lot of them make grave mistakes. I, I haven't done that. Because I'm good at pumpkin carving. I'm a professional. But not a slayer. Tell the viewers how it feels to be done. How it feels how to you, be done. How do you think so. you uh, executed your plan? So I think I executed my plan very well. As a uh, pumpkin slayer, it's best to be done not first, not last, but second. Um, or, you know, whatever's in the middle. That way you don't feel like you rushed and you also don't feel like you're slow. Sophie, how does it feel to be the last I don't want to finish. talk about it. I am finally finished years later and I have a cat pumpkin and it has teeth. That's all. We all just finished carving our pumpkins. Some took longer than others. Sure. And, <laughs> you know, I feel Art like I, process. I feel like I did, I did pretty good. I like how it turned out. You know, my thought process was, hmm, you know, I don't really want to try too hard, but I still want to make a good piece. My inspiration was my cat, who was always very angry. So yeah, that was my, boom, pumpkin. All right, guys, Pumpkin Slayer 296 here. This is my pumpkin. I call it the Pubby Home. Um, I think I did very well. Uh, I think it's clear who won this competition. I both excelled in um, speed and creativity. I was first though. <laughs> you were too quick, a little bit too quick for my taste. Um, and as we all know, I am the pumpkin slayer. So yeah, I think it is clear who won this competition. So speaking of who won this competition. This is my pumpkin. Um, I also made a cat, and I didn't realize till the end that Simon made a cat, but mine mine has some 3D elements, so poorly put on 3D. <laughs> I'd like to point out that mine is not a cat, so that shows originality in you. The cats are cute, and I use the pumpkin seeds as little teeth, and I think it's pretty cute. Unlike somebody's. 
Anyway, this is my pub gift. If people would like to vote on this, how would they do so? How do they decide who wins? You can vote by commenting your favorite pumpkin down below. And don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe. Yeah. You can vote for Simon's pumpkin. Do it. I'm peer pressure. Pumpkin do Slayer it. No. 84 or <laughs> Honky Tonk the Witch. Vote for your favorite pumpkin down below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Pumpkin carving? Are you serious? Dude, are, are you what, five? I know a, a really good one. You'll, you'll be so scared. All right, let's hear it. It starts on a night just like this. Hello, welcome, I'm Simon. Welcome to tier time. So I actually have, yeah, all the candy so I can eat it and then review it, which is like better. So yeah, first one, boom, three musketeers. Wonderful. I, should I be doing this on like packaging too? Maybe. Um, this one says well played, you know, I can't find the camera. Ah, well played. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm really just going on the taste probably but yeah i like it it's a pretty silver i guess yeah this is like i am struggling you you guys also get to see how hard it is for me to open candies wrappers yeah so it's chewy yeah um i don't that's not as good as I remember it, which is a little disappointing. Um, I'm gonna say B tier. Nah, no, C tier. It's like, it's a not, it's a worse version of a Milky Way, basically. It's just like a Milky Way with no caramel. So, yeah, this is, I, I don't know if you guys, inside, boom, wow, it's just the weird, like, I don't even know what it is. No clue. Um, okay, next one. Almond Joy. Woohoo. Freaking love this. I love Almond Joys. They're awesome. Pretty epic. Ah, I, that just flew. But yeah, it has the almond in it. Wow. It's almost like it's called Almond Joy for a reason. It has coconut. Chocolate, almonds, chef kiss, wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna like not take big bites because I don't think y'all wanna hear me chew for like half of the video. Um, yeah, I have a cute hat on, it's a little penguin. Just thought I should mention that. Um, yeah, I like, I'm gonna do A tier. It's, nah, it's not the best, but like, it's pretty good. It's nice and moist. Doesn't take long to chew. I didn't get an almond, but I like the crunch. It's very good. Om um, nom manch, you know. Eh. <laughs> Chewing noises. Woohoo. Okay, next one. The Okay. So I was in the store getting the candy, right? I unfortunately came across Minion Candy Corn. Now the only reason I got it is because I thought it'd be funny. And it was cheaper and a smaller bag, so I'd have less of it because it's candy corn, you know? So, I kind of regret purchasing this. This was a $4 completely wasted. Or, mm, I haven't tried it yet. Who knows? Maybe it'll be, you know, like, gourmet. Gordon Ramsay would want, like, die for this. You know? We'll see. We'll see. I, I doubt it. This is... It's just, like... Oh, that smells terrible. Ew, wait, it, gross. It's banana, blue, raspberry, and vanilla. What the heck, dude? Like, it's just... I'm actually, like, not looking forward to this. Ugh. It tastes like... 
It tastes like lemon. I don't, it doesn't taste like banana. Eh, that's gross. B tier. It kind of tastes like banana Laffy Taffy. But like 10 times worse. And like, um. Like the blue raspberry jelly beans that like you get for like two cents. They're like really low quality. Yeah, that is not good. <laughs> I very much regret purchasing that. You know, it's fine. Whatever. Next one, Crunch Bar. Yeah. I... It's actually been a really long time since I've got one of these. Which is, you know, fun, funky. I, I remember liking these. I like... I like the crunch. <laughs> wow. Who would have funk... Yeah, this is it. I don't want a lot. Because, again, I don't think y'all want to hear me chew for, like, 30 minutes. It's, yeah, it's chocolate with Rice Krispies in it. What do you expect? It's good, though. It's good. You know, I'll put it with B. I'll, I'll put it on B tier. I'll put it with the nice little Almond Joys. You know, pretty good. Would, would not be very disappointed if I got this in, um my pillowcase yeah that's what we use <laughs> okay next one hershey's okay <clears throat> i have two of these one of them is halloween so basically they can just make people pay more to get a cool um gravestone on it yeah they've both they're wonderful awesome epic we're gonna i don't know why i'm trying both Maybe just, I want more chocolate than, who knows, you know? Oh, oh wait, it's actually engraved onto the actual chocolate. I forgot that that was happened. That was happened. That's cur- Anywho, yeah, this is, it's cool. It's a little hand, you know? I just bit my lip. It's Hershey's chocolate. What do you expect? Mmm. I'm not gonna try this one. It's literally the exact same. Here, I'll have like, I'll show it to you. Uh, Cause I'm sure you have absolutely no clue what a Hershey's bar looks like. No clue, dude. Yeah. See if it's a different quality. Wow, look at that. It's not tastes exactly the same. But, you know, I like it. It's kind of, like, comforting, I guess. I'll put it A. Um, people will probably get mad at me for that, but, you know, whatever. It's my opinion. That's what, yeah, these are for. <laughs> it's my opinion on freaking Halloween candy that I spent $20 on. Ugh. <sighs> my own money too and I just got like paid for I don't know I'm kind of mad about that I am actually that was a quick mood change but they're like again it's just marketing so they can like have people pay more for it but it's so cute and they're little fangs <laughs> I mean it's annoying because they're like shaped still as a square and like yeah so we're going to try to get the fangs out of them. Oh, I messed it up. Um, this vampire only has one fang. That's fine. Whatever. Um, yeah. It's just cookies and cream, which isn't my favorite. I don't like it very much. Yeah. No, nah, not my favorite. I do. There was this time in fifth grade where we did an experiment with chocolate bars. And the only reason I liked it was because we all got to eat it afterwards. And it was like the full size too, so we got a lot of chocolate. Wonderful. Okay, um, I like, it's cute, but. Yeah, it's, it's cookies and cream Hershey's, dude. It's not the best. It's kind of gross, not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay, next one, Kit Kat. It's it's not special because I'm 
cheap and I didn't want to spend $15 to get the like, I don't know, the other like fancy marketed ones. Wee. I used to eat Kit Kats like, you know, you wouldn't crack it and then you would just like, And I never realized, like, that it was bad until everyone kept getting mad at me for it. So now I eat it like a normal human. So, yeah. It's a Kit Kat. I like the wafers. This is probably going to be A tier as well. Yeah, I like the wafers. It, it adds a nice crunch, but, like, not too much of a crunch. You know? It's nice. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Huh. Boo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, the Reese's Ghosts. These are cute on the packaging. Like, look at them. They're little ghosts. Adorable. So cute. And then, you open them up. If I, if I can, that works. And it's just like this. And it's just a white blob. And it's like, yeah, I guess you can't technically see ghosts, like, features. Because, you know, oh, that smells really strong. Um, but, come on, dude. Be a, be, um, clickbait. <laughs> oh, and it's white chocolate. So, yeah. Not very good. I don't like white chocolate, personally. Disappointing in white chocolate. No, it wasn't as bad as the Minions. Those were... I'm gonna tell my friend to eat them and, like, tell them that they're actually really good. And, oh, get pranked. You get to eat something that's absolutely disgusting. What a prank. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is just the original Reese's. I like Reese's very much. You know... <coughs> I just choked on my spit. That was wonderful. Um, <coughs> chocolate, peanut butter, can't go wrong. Unless it's like, I don't know, bad chocolate or like moldy peanut. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but you know, can't go wrong with like good chocolate, good peanut, peanut, peanut. Oh, unless you have peanut allergies, don't eat this because you know, you'll die, which is not good. We don't want that. Yeah, boom, it's a cup. Wow, would you look at that. It's a Reese's. Wow, amazing. <clears throat> it's a Reese's. Wow. Um, I do like these. I get them, like, regularly if I go to, like, a gas station. Yeah, S tier. Very good. Reese's. Um. What's, oh, it's like, sorry, not sorry. Reese's. I'm sorry that you are watching this. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, the Reese's Pumpkins. The exact same thing, but Halloween. Because, you know, gotta make money. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's like less of like... Less of the candy, you know? I'm really bad, I think. Yeah, it is. And it doesn't have the wrap, which is, like, nice, but also kind of annoying. Yeah. So, Reese's, I dropped that. Wow. So interesting. Um. Yeah. Because, like, I just get regular Reese's. They are cute, though. I will give them that. They are very cute. But, yeah, why spend, like, a few dollars more? <laughs> I should be telling myself this. Um, <laughs> why spend more money on, like, just a pumpkin when you can get the exact same thing for, like, cheaper and just not a pumpkin shape? But, you know, it's fine. Whatever. It tastes the same. Snickers! You're not you. You're, you're not you when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. Um, yeah. The Snickers. I love Snickers. 
Why am I so bad at opening candy today? I don't know. I don't want to eat a lot of this. <laughs> wow, that was not satisfying because trash just fell on my floor. <laughs> um. Ah. Oh. Right, I might have gotten a weird version. I think it's like more nuts than normal. Oh. Uh, you know. So Snickers, oh I like Snickers. Yeah, they go up there. Very good. I'm gonna finish chewing. I should've brought water. That would've been a good idea. Gonna be right back, water break. I'm back, say hello. She doesn't care, awesome. Okay, move. <laughs> it's her tail. She has a cute tail. She has a fluffy tail. Anywho, um, boom, water. <laughs> what I should have done the first time, but you know, it's fine. Whatever. Okay. Second to last one. Twix. Are you a right or left? This one says right. I don't care. I don't. Yeah. I guess I ate the left one. Oops. Ooh, I went against. Oh, this one says two right. Why? What's the difference? I never really understood the battle between, like, right and left. I don't know, dude. I'm just here to eat candy and get cavities. They're better when I remember them. Ah. Whoops. Um... Yeah, I'll put it right there. Yeah, they're a lot better than I remember. I like the texture. The texture is very good. Um, yeah, I like the texture. I like caramel. Yeah, very good. Eight out of ten. No, it's ten out of ten though. Water. Stay hydrated. Um final one. Finally. Um your peppermint patty, but pumpkin shaped. Cause you know, gotta make money out of Halloween. And fall, ah, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the only dark chocolate one. It's kind of a bad pumpkin shape. You know, not the best. Ooh, it smells like toothpaste. Fun, okay. It tastes like um that one toothpaste that like actually doesn't taste bad with like and then you have like chocolate right after brushing your teeth which is like counterintuitive but you know that's what it tastes like and that's what i'm here to say i like them less than i used to yeah i'm gonna go with that awesome well thank you for watching thank you for i don't know thanks i regret this Kind of, I do have a lot of candy now, which I also kind of regret because I am already unhealthy as it is. So, you know, whatever. It's fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Peace out. <laughs> like, that wasn't even scary. You couldn't even be scared of that. I... What? What's that? There's Stop! Some, I know I'm you're not even joking. There's something behind you. I don't know what it is. What? what? <laughs> I finally oh, got you, dude. Okay, I admit you might have scared me a little bit, just a, a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> but there's only one thing that chills me to the bone. What is it? It's the viewer who didn't subscribe, didn't like didn't comment why why would they do that i don't know it could never be me guess we'll never find out speaking of watching things what's your favorite halloween movie oh my god halloween town hands down what about you Dude, no it's totally saw and mary in the 